You can augment mono amines by some somewhat old fashioned things. They were around when I was in training in my residency last century. And so you can add lithium even to unipolar depression onto a monoamine reuptake blocker. You can add the 5-HT1A agent known as buspirone to a monoamine reuptake blocker. And you can even add thyroid, T3 or T4, often T3. Uh, and these can all help. They're kind of falling out of fashion today, but uh, they're worth trying when a lot of other things haven't worked. Now, what you're trying to do is bad math. What? You're hoping that 1 plus 1 equals 10. And you're even hoping that 1 plus 1 plus 1 might equal 100. That's called synergy, where the output is greater than the sum of the parts. And that's called pharmacology. So when you have the right pharmacology, you'll get triple action. What's triple action? Serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. So one of the ways to get that, very commonly used, is to take an SSRI and add bupropion to it, which is an NDRI. Then you get serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine reuptake. Many patients will have a good response to the addition of bupropion to an SSRI or an SSRI, either one. And that's what's shown here as well. You can add either S SRI plus bupropion or SNRI plus bupropion and get a triple action and hope to get much more efficacy than you do with either alone. Okay? Now, I coined something many years ago called California rocket fuel. And what do I mean by that? It blasts you out of the deep hole of depression. That was the idea at the time. And what you do is you add an SNRI to mirtazapine. Now I'll show you on the left, you got a serotonin pump and an alpha-2 receptor on the, on the uh, uh, presynaptic side. And you've got some serotonin receptors on the postsynaptic side. And on the norepinephrine transporter, you got alpha-2, 5-HT2A, 5-HT2C, and you have 5-HT2A uh, and 2C on, on the right for dopamine. And so what you're going to do is block the serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake pumps with mirtazapine, and you're going to block the alpha-2 receptors, the 5-HT2A and the 5-HT2 receptor, with mirtazapine, and that's going to give you a lot more dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin release than by either alone. And anecdotally, this is it's not very well studied, but um, I think anecdotally people have found that this works. Uh, sometimes it's not tolerated because it's uh, got the side effects of two drugs together, but it can work. There are other ones that you have to kind of increase the activation of someone. So what you do is you take an SNRI, and then the SNRI will block the serotonin and the norepinephrine transporter. But if you want to, you can go to the ADHD lecture and get some of the information about how stimulants work. I'm not gonna give you great details here, but stimulants are a type of a NDRI as well. They tend to be more potent in their blockade, and they obviously work for ADHD and are not approved specifically for depression, but they can actually boost an antidepressant effect, such as with an SSRI or SNRI. Modafinil is a bit of mysterious stimulant because we don't really know how it works, but it's thought to actually probably mostly work by dopamine reuptake. So if you wanted to add dopamine reuptake, not so much norepinephrine reuptake to an SNRI, for example, that'd be another way to go.